Hello and welcome to Lumen Weekly. Nero is about to balk. I'm just gonna not cut that out. Anyway, so as I said last week, he's very angry. As I said last week, I'm gonna answer quite a few of your questions here because you did leave a few. But then I'm also gonna ask you questions. Um, I don't think I have the best selection of questions here ever, but it's worth a try. I'm just gonna do a test run this week, see if it works okay. And then I'm going to ask you these, you're going to answer in the comments below and then next week I'll sort of feature them and answer any new questions that there are. And I think they're interesting, they, they're okay and they can sort of work for a lot of you. Um, so I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that. But first we're going to answer the questions that they were from last week. Uh, the first one is from Ginny11. Wait, you like the cold? Let's switch. He apparently lives in Netherlands and he likes the sun. So we're going to have to do something about that. You can post yourself over here in a box. Come on, DHL yourself over here and we'll do the same. We'll leave over there. I wouldn't mind living in the Netherlands. That sounds like it's... I mean, imagine the nice internet there. I can imagine that would be really cool sitting in the cold all day long. It's the perfect weather to be in front of your computer where I am most of the time anyway. So um, then he also asks the main part of the question actually. I was getting sidetracked there. Is, is it easy to get game releases slash electronics slash consoles etc where you live? Um, I actually answered this by accident in the comment section already, but I'll just say it here again. So in South Africa specifically, or actually where we live now, even worse, it's like not in one of the major cities, but it's not really easy to get stuff like that, but at the same time, it's not that bad either, because you won't get the games and stuff like on release day. For instance, Portal was a good example of that. Portal was released on like the 19th or something, or I can't even remember, but then it was released about three days later here in South Africa, or two days maybe. Um, usually you'll get the games just a day or two later, and the delivery services are actually pretty good already, so they'll generally re deliver it to you on the day of release or the day thereafter so if you can order it online or something at one of the there are lots of online stores in South Africa which not that many not compared to overseas but there are quite a few that actually work well so generally you can get stuff pretty quickly as far as consoles and stuff like that are concerned not very quickly that's now for games but for electronics and consoles that takes a little bit longer for instance the iPhone the white iPhone 4 was released a couple of weeks ago already um, and that's not out here yet um, the stuff like that takes a bit longer because generally people don't want to spend the extra money to send their stuff all the way down to South Africa where it'll get a limited amount of sales and popularity um, and where it just won't matter as much so uh, it's not so bad and with Steam, stuff like Steam you can always be like ready the day the game releases and download it so or activate it or whatever so with Steam uh, I suppose we're on, on par with the rest of the world except for the fact that we have to pay for our bandwidth and well a lot for our bandwidth and uh, our internet's a lot slower, but overall not so bad. So uh, that was from Ginny11, as I said. Then from MMA Tomas, um, he says, you're, I'm killing him with these challenges. Have I actually played all these games so far? Yes. Uh, the only one I sort of didn't play, obviously I didn't play LA Noir, but the older ones I all played, and the week, this week's one I did play. And I actually might have made a bit of a mistake by using this week's one because I was told that it wasn't released in the US, and a lot of you are from the US, so. I apologize about that one, but hey, it's just for fun, so um, I'll not try not to do that again. Uh, but it, I have played most of the games, yes, um, and the ones that I didn't play, I sort of want to play and I know a lot about already. So then, that was from, yeah, that was from MMO Tomas, then from Stream Zones, he has a random question, but where do we get that, ra that Mario painting? It's this one over here, and that was done by this one over here. How am I even pointing? This was, that was done by Eileen. She's sitting over here. She's busy playing WoW. But she painted that one up there for speci specifically for the office. And she also did one that's over here. Let me show you actually. That one over there. And there's probably going to be more coming soon. Who knows? But um, she did those two specifically for our office here to fit in with the whole gaming theme. But it's very cool, yes. And she's gonna be doing stuff like we, like, eventually we want to try and get her, like, because that's what she wants to do. So we want to try and get, like, an online store for her going and get her sort of her work out there that people can see it and if they want to buy it and all that good stuff. Anyway, but it's very cool. It is. Um, and then KK Plix asked, that was from Stream Sons, then KK Plix. KKPLX, I'm assuming that's KK Flix. Um, <laughs> yeah, how, how do you, how does it feel getting to talk to 
people from all around the world every week knowing that at least a thousand people will listen to it. Um, good, I suppose. It's nice. Uh, I don't know if every single video of mine gets a thousand people, but sure, some of them do. And, I mean, it's, I, I don't know, it's, it's sort of just what I wanted to do. Uh, I, it's a very difficult question to answer that. I think it feels great, okay? And it's, I prefer doing the more personal videos where I can actually sit and talk to the camera than, than other stuff because it just, it feels better and it feels, I don't know, it's more something that I enjoy. I also obviously enjoy the vlogs and stuff like that, um, but obviously not a thousand people watch my vlogs every week. I think very much less than that. But still, it's really cool. I, I, I'm very blessed, honored to be able to do that. And you guys are like such a great audience and such a great bunch of people actually watching my videos. So what can I say? I can't really wish for any better. Um, then Panic asks, your girlfriend plays not only Heroes of New Earth, but World of Warcraft 2. How is that even acceptable? Now I should ask actually, how is that not acceptable? That's like really cool. Um, I don't mind, I think it's great. I get to play World of Warcraft with her if I want to, or Heroes of New Earth, because we have played a bit of Haunt together, and it's so much more fun than playing alone, isn't it? You must agree. And she's interested in the same stuff as me, so there's nothing wrong about that. He also asked, can you sing us some sip Sipping on Protoss Tears, and no, I'm not going to do that, but I can link you to Ray William Johnson's song. You must know that by now. Your favorite Martian. Good song. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll sing it to you someday. I'm just not ready for it now. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be doing lots of Polar Fluke shout casting soon, which is gonna be terrible. Um, anyway, then from Grande X, uh, Grand, Grand XE, I'm not sure how to say that, but anyway, Grand XE, uh, will you speak some Afrikaans in the next Lumen Weekly? He asks, and yes, I can speak some Afrikaans. I don't really have anything to say, but I can tell you what's going on here. Um, Eileen speaks from Water Spiel, and Nero speaks from Rondartup and to Bluff for Alice. Uh, I can see a great mark on for a poor ear where Starcraft to prod ear. It is not the best thing to do on a Sunday, but the games are good. Anyway, I'll put some subtitles in there and you guys, or maybe I'll just annotate it, who knows. Um, Afrikaans is a lot like Dutch or, or probably a lot of the languages up there. I mean, I'm not sure. It's probably not like Swedish. I think Swedish is a bit different and I'm spitting on my keyboard. But um, it's a lot like those languages up there. It's actually a lot like German too. People don't know that. But uh, a lot of the words and stuff carry over. And if you know Afrikaans, it's a lot easier to understand German. But I mean, I can say a lot more. It's just I don't think people really want to hear that much of it because they don't understand it. Um, anyway, I'll put subtitles in there and sure I didn't sound very motivated there. But anyway, now I'm going to do the questions for for you guys. I've got questions that I wrote, I typed them out here on my screen. That's this this glaring light on my look if I minimize that that's still white. That's still white. That's that's better. See? But anyway I can't do that because I need these questions open. I can't remember them. So firstly, to all the guys in the US, this is now actually a really interesting question. I'd like I'd love to know what you hear about what to say about this. How do you feel about the fact that I see some of the service providers have started saying that they're gonna start charging for their bandwidth um, so I'm sure you pay for line rentals and stuff like that at the moment, but your, your bandwidth is generally uncapped as far as I know, no, no limits there. And I heard that, uh, I think it's at and I'm not sure, I, I'm, I'm just sort of uh, just going on what I've read so far and it hasn't been much. But they're going to start charging for bandwidth soon. It was something like $10 for 100 gigs, which is incredibly cheap by our standards, but for you that's something that's totally new, you've never paid for bandwidth before. Um, in, is that going to affect you at all? Do you download more than 100 gigs a month? Do you use more than 100 gigs of bandwidth? Uh, is it, does it bother you? I, just basically let me know how you feel about that because I'd like to know. For us, uh, having to pay $10, which would be around 60 Rand, I think, I'm not sure, um, for 100 gigs would be absolutely amazing. That would be such a good price for us. But I know it's different. First world country, third world country. Um, we can't compare, okay? But I, I just want to know what you guys think about that. How do you feel about that? Is it going to affect you? Are you with AT&T or any of those guys? Um, let me know below. And then, another one that's sort of more global. Have any of you been affected by the whole PSN crisis? The PlayStation Network thing being hacked? You must have heard about it already. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about it on my subscriber list, for instance, on all the news sites. Um, it's all over the place. It's that's one of the biggest gaming related pieces of news that's around at the moment uh, Are any of you been affected by that? Do you do any of you have your credit card details any other details on the PlayStation Network? 
Uh, I, for one, I we have like three PlayStation accounts, uh, PSN accounts, just because we wanted the different region, regions in the world, but we don't have any details on there. We've never bought anything through the PSN yet. Um, so it doesn't really matter to us. Um, or any of you, do you, or any of you big like PlayStation online gamers, does it affect you because you can't actually go online and play? I don't know, I'd just like to know, for, for instance, how many of you uh, are actually sort of disappointed by this whole thing. I know a lot of people aren't really affected, don't really care. I know a lot of people who play Xbox instead, or PC gamers, stuff like that. But it's interesting, I'd like to know. My IRC is beeping. Let's have a look who it is. It's my cousin. Okay, I'm not going to answer him now. We'll wait till this is done. Um, now here's a pretty interesting one. No, actually I'll leave this one to last, so I'm, wait, hold on. So, another one that's very, very generic, and yes, I'm going for generic questions here because I'd just like to see how it works. Um, and uh, I want to see if it's sort of you guys are interested in this kind of thing. I know a lot of you said that you'd rather, I mean, that you like the fact that I can talk about the questions that you ask me, but we try this once at least and see how it goes. So, what games are you excited for in 2011? I know you guys have asked me this a lot, but I'm asking you this time because for me it'll help me get a better idea of like what you guys are interested in and at the same time it'll give me sort of a few ideas of games that I should be excited for because I know I'm not seeing all the games that are coming out this year. Uh, I don't follow the news, well I do follow the news very closely, but I sort of forget. Uh, a lot of games have passed me by and they're just like, it gets to release date and I'm like, oh, wait, that game was coming out now and then I should be excited for it, but I wasn't. Anyway, so let me know what games you're excited for. Are there any FPS, MMO, RTS, whatever it is, let me know what you're really, really waiting for in 2011. You don't have to say Diablo 3 because I know pretty much everyone is excited for that. So you can say anything other than that. Let me know because it's interesting to me. Then, for the StarCraft players out there, this is a question I wanted to ask because um, there is this press event coming up for Heart of the Swarm at the end, like, end of May sometime. If you had to ask, like, one question to the Blizzard developers, um, about Heart of the Swarm, so if you, if you could just actually ask any of them one question about, say, what we'd be seeing in the expansion, what's going on there, um, anything at all about Heart of the Swarm, what would it be? This is for the StarCraft players out there, obviously. The sun's coming up. Yay. Um, yay. Hmm. I don't know, I'm actually okay with the sun not coming up. But, I'd like to know what you guys are excited for about Heart of the Swarm, so let me know what you think about that. That's for the StarCraft players out there. And then the last question, pets. Do any of you have any really cute pets that you'd want to show off? Um, can you, like, upload photos of your pets? And I was just sort of wondering, because it's, I mean, you've all seen Nero many, many times, but I'd like to see if you guys have any pets that you'd like to show off to everyone else. Um, on Lumen Weekly. It's gonna be interesting. I think that'll be really cool. If you guys can sort of upload a photo, either attach them to an email, upload a photo and, and send the link to me, either of those two will work. Um, you can send me the link in you by YouTube message or by uh, to my email address talesoflumen at gmail.com very simple email address talesoflumen one word at gmail.com um, no points, no dashes, no underscores, just talesofluma at gmail.com. Send me photos there, um, send me links, whatever you want to do, and I'll sort of, I'll, I'm going to have a look at all of them and I'll s talk about them and feature them in the next show because I think that's cute, okay? I, I think everyone loves their pets, I hope, and um, they're always so cute to look at and that's like one of the biggest things on the internet, looking at other people's pets, so why not we, just, we can try that, okay? I know it's very cliche here, but why not, okay? So send me the photos and the names of your pets. And you can tell me a little bit about them if you want to. Not like a full three-page biography or something, just tell me a little bit about them if you want to. Um, that's just open to everyone, okay? You can do that, you don't have to do it. If I get like only one or two, that's cool as well. Um, if I get 20, that's even better, fine. So, last question then I suppose, that was supposed to be the last one, but what did you do this weekend and was it a good one? Hope you guys are having fun. Um, I'm pretty busy this weekend with Polar Fluke and then I want to get other videos done, I want to get like some news done, um, but my weekend has been quite crazy. I have to move our washing machine uh, because there was a bit of a crisis here a little while ago. You see the washing machine over there? That's over here, you see? That actually fell down these stairs here onto the floor over there, onto that carpet and it made a huge mess while it was on. So it was like bouncing around so much because of the blankets and stuff that were in there. The dog, it was dog blankets actually, so it was Nero's fault. 
wasn't actually near as well. But anyway, it was bouncing around so much that it fell down the stairs on its side and like a lot of stuff broke and now the washing machine doesn't work anymore. Um, and our whole floor was flooded so our carpet has like these water stains on it now and it was really terrible, okay. And it happened just as we were arriving so we didn't really, we couldn't stop it from falling down there. I don't even know why it happened. But now I have to move the washing machine out and move another one in. We've got one in the garage. Um, so that's terrible. So that's one of the bad parts of my weekend. Otherwise, I'm going to take Nero for a walk now, because I take Nero for a walk every day, as you probably know. And I thought I'd just let you know that I'm going to start, as I said in the vlog, I'm going to start trying to release more vlogs soon. So I'm going to carry, I'm getting a new phone, um, and I'm going to be carrying the phone with me all the time, and I can just vlog when I feel like it. And I think that's much better, because the camera, I can't show you how the camera looks here. Maybe I'll do it one day in a mirror or something. You know, just saying that there's a mirror over here. There's the camera. Um, it's like a handy cam kind of thing, and there's a mirror over there, don't ask me why. But anyway, uh, it's not so easy carrying that around with my cell phone, with my keys, with whatever else I need to carry around. Um, so yeah. Anyway, okay, so let's head on over to the weekly challenge. I think I've sat here for long enough talking, and uh, let's see who, who managed to come out on top there. Here we go, time to look at last week's challenge and present you, the brave and fearless detectives, with a fresh new clue. This past week's challenge was, um, old, yes, sure, and I guess it was a little bit too random for a few of you. So what was the game? You guys guessed a lot of quite different and quite varied stuff. Harvest Moon, Settlers 1, Pokemon, Zelda, Farmville, Knights and Merchants, and the right answer was in fact Beasts and Bumpkins. Yes, this was a PC game that I actually played a long, long time ago. I heard it was in fact not released in the US, so sorry about that and sorry to all the US viewers out there. I wasn't really aware. Still, it's just for fun and hey, at least someone got it right. You can actually read a lot more about the game below if you're interested. The winner this week, because he or she, and I actually do know it's a he this time, did in fact guess it correctly, is Polar Fluke COZA, or just Fluke. Worth mention is that Divined also got it right. I think he actually might have known before because he watched the video before, but still, he got it right too. I've contacted said lucky commenter about his prize and, well, I'm about ready to give you your next challenge, so let's check it out. Ah, oh, what a tease. Yes, that's all you're getting, and I fear it may well be too much. If you know the answer, leave a comment telling me what the game is. As I said, this will always be uploaded sometime on Sunday, hopefully, so everyone will know when to expect it, and everyone will have a fair chance. This week, I don't think there'll actually be a prize, sadly, as I have run out of sticker packs, but I will find something new someday soon to give away. But that shouldn't stop you from guessing anyway, as it is just for fun. So, all that said, remember you can leave your questions down below for next week, and let's just make it free for all again. Also, I will be featuring all the answers to the questions I asked this week next week, so remember to get those in too. I hope you all had a great weekend, and most importantly, happy detectivizing.